Long past its peak, the Han Empire had nowhere to go but down. However, the might of Cao Cao helped bring an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. As a result of his deeds in battle, he was promoted to the rank of colonel. Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that Cao Cao's childhood friend, Yuan Shao, rose to power. We must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, from his position within the Imperial Court, Cao Cao could sense it. The ten eunuchs were not the only ones harboring the smoldering sparks of rebellion. For there was another threat, a violent wind capable of toppling the once mighty Han Empire. And that threat had a name, Dong Zhuo, a brutal warlord feared far and wide. Almost as quickly as they had come, the winds of tyranny disappeared from the land. Faced with the onslaught led by Cao Cao, Dong Zhuo was driven from Luoyang. In his new capital of Chang'an, he soon found himself betrayed and murdered by his retainer Lu Bu. For a time, the land knew peace once more. However, with nobody to rule, this newfound peace was tenuous at best. If only there was a hero who could unite the land. Powerful though he was, Cao Cao was yet one warlord among many. It was then that remnants of the Yellow Turban Army rose up again. They moved from Qing province, looking to assassinate the Viceroy of Yan. Having made a name for himself in the battle against Dong Zhuo, Cao Cao was requested to come to the assistance of Yan province. Hunting tigers. <laughs> what are you leading the enemy here for? Ah, I'll get rid of them for you. It's them! You teach them a lesson, will you? They feed me one. And now I've got to look after their sorry hides. Hmm. You might be worth the trouble. Our enemy is the Yellow Turbans, though they have no officers of note left. But they still have numbers, and their tenacity must not be underestimated. I was hunting tigers, but I seem to have caught something better. He's strong, and I can vouch for his courage. He'd make a good bodyguard. Very well. He's hired. You mean... I'm your bodyguard? Are you sure? Hmm. You come with the highest recommendation. He's your commander. <laughs> yep. You'd better get used to him. The high commanding. Your commander. <laughs> yep. You'd better get used to him. D. 
Jian Wei. I am entrusting you with our Lord's safety. Protecting our Lord is no easy task. Good luck with that. I see what Lord Sha Ho Duin saw in you. You look plenty tough. We have to wipe out the last of the yellow turbans? I hate playing the bad guy. Lord Shaho Yuan has high hopes for you. Don't you let him down. Have you been to the weapons dealer? He's got some crazy stuff there. So you're the new bodyguard, huh? Good luck. You're gonna need it. Don't underestimate the enemy just because they're peasants. Even a rat can be dangerous when cornered. This is Lord Tsao chance to stake a claim to unite the land. He'd be a wonderful leader. Lord Shaho Yuan and Lord Shaho Duen are cousins, don't you know? They don't look much alike, though. Did you know that Lord Cao Ren is related to Lord Cao Cao? You did? Even with Dong Zhua gone, things are still bad. I only hope Lord Cao Cao can do something. Zhang Liang of the Yellow Turbans calls himself the General of the People. He's probably just copying his older brothers. They were the General of Heaven and the General of the Land. But they were no match for us. Welcome! Let's go, Dian Wei. I am curious to see your ability as my bodyguard. At once, General. I, I mean, my lord. I will draw the enemy's attention. I will need you to come with me. Our lord is in your hands. <laughs> But you must keep our lord safe. That is your only duty.
That's the end. Remarkable strength. It is as if the legendary warriors of old have been brought back to life. Oh, I am no legend, my lord. Well done, Dian Wei. A deed worthy of the legends of old. The legends of old. Begin setting up a defensive perimeter. Know your enemy and know yourself, and you'll win a hundred battles. Fight me now for glory! This place is ours now! I know you have what it takes to protect our lord. I trust you won't let us down. Will you not come with us? If you can attack, I will defend. I bring news. A giant is wreaking havoc in the village. who's been messing up our fields. Ooh. Such incredible strength. Ooh. For my lord, I will stand my ground. Oh, oh, righteous, righteous.
Commander! Get him! Look out! M my lord! You must stay back! <laughs> With a man like you protecting me, I can afford the odd adventure. My lord! Please! Why is it that you fight? For your departed lord? To defeat the Han? We're... we're here because we want to stay alive! We can't live in a war-ravaged land! How... how could you ever understand us? Stop it! I know that you're suffering inside, but if you steal crops from other people, then they'll suffer too. Y you're right. <laughs> the answer was simple all along. This conflict is caused by the fact that the right people aren't in the right place. All of you, you must set aside your differences and come with me. I will give you all that you desire. Future historians would say this was when Wei's rise to power began. With the rebellion quelled, Cao Cao became the ruler of Yan province. In addition, he welcomed all of the yellow turbans who had surrendered into his ranks. They were named the Jing Province Army and became the main unit of Cao Cao's forces. What was it that these troops from Qing, as well as the people themselves, desired? Knowing the answer, Cao Cao swiftly mobilized his army. Dong Zhuo's tyranny had left the land surrounding the capital barren and neglected. Cao Cao decided to give these lands to the Qing troops to tend as farmland. Seeing this move, the warlord Yuan Shu immediately understood the threat that Cao Cao would one day become. He mobilized Tao Qian of Shu province, sending him to attack Cao Cao's rear flank. Sensing the impending attack, Cao Cao moved to strike first, dispatching his troops to Shu. Joining him in the march was Xu Chu, who had joined Cao Cao in the previous battle. However, neither Xu Chu nor even Cao Cao himself noticed that behind them was an ominous shadow looming even larger than that of Dong Zhuo himself. What's wrong with the enemy? Why don't they make their move? I hate just waiting around and doing nothing. Have you had enough to eat? I don't want you to get hungry halfway through the battle again. Lord Cao Cao has given us fields of our own. We won't forget this, Lord Cao Cao. We'll fight for him until the very last. We'll show them the pride of the men of Qing province. So you're in our Lord's bodyguard corps. Good luck, you're going to need it.
Our Lord has complete faith in Lord Shaho Dwin. Oh, and in you bodyguards, too. Lord Cao Cao is the future of this land. I know it. Ever since you two joined his army, our Lord's been taking so many risks. But not that I'm blaming you. Lord Shaho Dwin is guarding Yan province. It would take some doing to topple it. Chung Yu is an old friend of our lords. Your Sha Look at Lord Dian Wei. He can't wait to get out there and fight. I just want to go home. Hmm. I wonder how we should proceed. Don't get me wrong. Tao Chan's no pushover. But I thought there was someone tougher around these parts. Lord Cao Cao has turned this wasteland into rich, fertile fields. We won't starve this year. What is your plan, my lord? Seek to bring a quick end to the battle? Hmm... My lord, I have urgent news. It's Yan Province. Cousin Duan has fallen at Yan Province. What? I'm not sure where he came from, but that scoundrel Lu Bu attacked out of nowhere. Sha Ho Yuan. Yes, my lord. I want you to take a unit and head for Yan Province and search for survivors. At once, my lord. Dian Wei, Shu Chu, I am counting on you to protect me. We must move quickly to eliminate the Tao Qian army. Understood, my lord. Leave it to us. Tao Qian must be swiftly eliminated. Cao Ren, Shu Chu, your task will be to cut us a path. Yes, my lord. Come, Shu Chu. I'll be back What's soon, Dian Wei. You keep our lord safe! Leave it to me! I'll see you again soon! The enemy has a garrison on the other side of the forest. We must secure it as quickly as we can. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. That's more later. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. You encourage us all. But we won't fall behind in the race for war. Your prowess rekindles my spirit! Onward to victory! I must retreat! This is not the end! How many was there? I've lost count already! True warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land.
against the enemy garrison? It'll be like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> like a violent wind. <laughs> this area is all ours now. Lubu is approaching. We must return to our base camp and keep our lord safe. You're my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first man I shall seek. How many was that? I lost count already. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Everyone's eyes are on this battle. Don't allow yourself to suffer a humiliating defeat. You look too dangerous to be left alone. As do you. I will be glad to face you in battle. Did you? You come! I shall pull back for now. However, we shall meet in battle again. How many was that? I've lost count already. Seems defeat has arrived. Don't 
won't give up yet. We will fight to the last man. We have to. We must hold out until the opening presents itself. are a match for mine. This is a good I can hardly take my eyes off you. Go ahead, look all you want. I'll be the last thing you see. What you want? One finger on my lord, and you'll pay! Out of my sight, vermin! I have no time for the likes of you! At last, Cao Cao! Your head is mine! I'm afraid my head is too valuable to give to an animal like you! As if I let you get away! Just fall into my trap already! The crisis has been averted. Shoot you. It is time to attack. Our target is Tao Chiang. You encourage us all, but we won't fall behind in the race for glory. Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! How many words to see? I've lost count already! Oh! You just reached another level of brilliance! So you are my next opponent! I'll crush you like all of the others! <laughs> I shall return! Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! How many was there? I've lost count already! This one is heroic! I guess I need to pick up the pace! This one's gonna hurt you! Prowess rekindles my spirit! Onward to victory! See you later! 
So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Don't you know hurt? Let's go. What's gonna hurt? I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. How many was there? I've lost count already. See you later. You encourage us all. But we won't fall behind in the race for glory. <laughs> Get himself involved. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory. You believe your wits are a match for mine? we could break down the castle gates. defeated Tao Qian and forced even the mighty Lu Bu to retreat. He now possessed a sizable territory, capable officers, and a well-trained army. Indeed, the hero of chaos had taken the first steps towards seizing the land. As if to celebrate his accomplishments, a tremendous opportunity appeared before Cao Cao. The emperor had fled the ruins of the capital of Chang'an, Cao Cao took the emperor under his protection and headed for his base at Xuzhang. Thus, 
he became more than a mere warlord, something much more formidable. Our lord has the emperor under his thumb, yet he makes no move. And the first thing he does is give land to the peasants. Lord Tonto has given fields to me and the men of Qing province. Well, I'm sure our lord will remember to collect his taxes. He's using the old carrot and stick to keep them all firmly in line. He seeks a land where everyone will know the value of hard work, you mean. So, that's what our lord wants after the war, you think? <laughs> Dian Wei, I think you know him better than anyone these days. You mean, we're making a land where every man has to feed himself? Yeah! Then, you need to learn how to plow a field, too. I'll teach you. Uh, yeah, some other time. Yeah! Everyone has to pitch in. Come on! But... but I'm a... I'm a warrior! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Put your back into it! <laughs> With the Emperor under his control, Cao Cao sent a clear message of his intent to rule the land. However... Many battles yet stood between him and total domination. In Hebei, Yuan Shao had gathered a massive army to further his own ambitions. Additionally, Yuan Shu had obtained the legendary Imperial Seal and used its authority to declare himself Emperor. These two powerful opponents bided their time, waiting for an opportunity to strike against Cao Cao. Furthermore, Numerous warlords began circling the Emperor like a pack of hungry wolves waiting to pounce. It was then that Cao Cao found himself embroiled in a heated battle. His opponent was Zhang Xiao, who hailed from the land of Wan. With the mighty Dian Wei on his side, Cao Cao was confident of his advantage going into battle. army is as mighty as they say. Take out the commander and the rest would fall. With that warrior by his side. <sighs> There's nothing more we can do. You... you would abandon me? Well, if it truly bothers you, I suppose you could always surrender. What? Oh, yes. If you are going to surrender, make sure you do it humbly. <laughs> I am relieved my surrender was accepted. You have my gratitude, my lord. This is a modest little banquet we're having, but you're welcome to join us. <laughs> 